The human urinary system consists of two kidneys, two ureters, but one bladder and one single urethra, which then moves urine from its temporary storage in the bladder to leave the body. The urethra is consistent in uh, the nathostome urinary systems and can be seen here also in the cat and in the pig. The epithelia which line the urethra change from being transitional epithelia near the bladder to pseudostratified columnar epithelia as uh, it proceeds along its length, and then finally to stratified squamous epithelia. Since epithelial cells are constantly being sloughed off and uh, because of their high rate of mitosis uh, continually replaced, uh, squamous epithelial cells are a normal component of urine since they can be lost uh, from uh, the urethra as uh, urine passes through the lumen. The urethra also possesses smooth muscle in its wall for contraction. In human females, as is typical of primates, the urethra is completely separate from the reproductive system. It is only functional in the urinary system and being separately into the vestibule from the vagina. In contrast, in human males and in females in uh, many mammals and throughout lower vertebrates, there is a fusion of urinary and reproductive systems. Uh, in many uh, texts, one would consider the urogenital system of a lower vertebrate given this fusion. Uh, in human males, the vas deferens from the spermatic cord passes over the ureters, behind the bladder, and then within the prostate, it fuses with the urethra as it leaves uh, the bladder. And so therefore, the urethra in males transports both urine in the urinary system and semen in the reproductive system. Given its increased length, passing through the penis, uh, it is thus separated from the source of so many bacteria from the large intestine, and so therefore urinary tract infections are less common in males.